In these problems, we're given a formula, and we have to solve it for a particular variable. We're not given any numbers to plug in. Uh, we're just kind of rewriting the formula. And this is kind of a cool thing about formulas, especially when you're using them for um, science applications, is that you can use algebra to rewrite the formulas to make a new formula that solves for a different variable. Here's a formula, area equals base times height. Um, and what we want to do is solve for b so that we would have a formula set up that if we already had the area and the height, it would give us the base. Well, to do this, we just want to get b alone. So we want to undo whatever's been done to b. In this case, the only thing being done to b here is that it's being multiplied by h. So we have to undo that by doing the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So we will divide by h, but we have to do it to both sides of the equation. On this side, the h's cancel, and we get b equals a over h. You might want to rewrite that from left to right. b equals a over h might look nicer that way. Not too hard. Let's look at another one. Slightly more complex. We're going to solve for x here, and this we have a equals 1 half w times x. Sort of looks like the formula for the area of a triangle if w was the base and x was the height. So since we're solving for x, we've got, well, we've actually got two things going on here. x is being multiplied by 1 half, and it's being multiplied by w. I think I'm going to take that in two steps. I want to get rid of this 1 half over here first. Now, if I were going to get rid of something that's multiplied by x, I would divide by that. So I would divide this by 1 half. You might remember that when you're dividing a fraction by a fraction, you actually take the reciprocal of that fraction and multiply by it. So dividing by 1 half is the same thing as multiplying by 2 over 1, which is just 2. So all I really have to do to get rid of that 1 half is multiply by 2. And on this side, of course, I have to do the same thing. Now you could think of 2 times 1 half is 1, and 1 times anything is the thing, same thing itself. So it's like the 2 and the 1 half cancel each other out. You can also think of the 2's canceling, a 2 on top and a 2 on bottom. Either way, you just get wx on that side. On this side, we get 2 times a, which we write as 2a. Now we're trying to get x alone. What's being done to it now is that it's being multiplied by w. So I want to do the opposite of that. I want to divide by w. Have to do it to both sides. On this side, the w's will cancel, leaving x alone. And I get x equals 2a over w. And I could rewrite that from left to right if I wanted to. x equals 2a over w. All right, we have one more here. And this should look familiar. p equals 2l plus 2w. This is the formula for the perimeter, the distance around the outside of a rectangle. 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. And it says solve for l. Well, we've got two different things going on here. L is multiplied by a 2, but there's also this extra term. And before we get rid of that multiplication by dividing, we have to get rid of this extra term first. This term is a plus 2w, so I'm going to do the opposite of plus. I'm going to subtract 2w. have to do it to both sides. Over here, a 2w minus a 2w comes out to 0, so it's like they, they cancel out. And over here, p minus 2w, we just write like that. And on this side, what we have left is 2l. Now, all that's being done to l is it's being multiplied by 2. So we do the opposite of that. We divide by 2. And we have to do it to both sides. And make sure you do it to the whole side. It's everything on the left side that's being divided by 2 and everything on the right side that's being divided by 2. Here, the 2's cancel. And there's no way to cancel 2's here. If you had a 2 up next to the p, then there'd be enough 2's to cancel. But there isn't here, so nothing can cancel here. And we get l equals p minus 2w over 2. If you want to write that left to right, it would look like that. Whoops. There we go.